Being able to remove blemishes while touching up a portrait can come in handy. Whether you're a professional photographer who wants to be able to offer this service for clients, or you're working on your own photo for a modeling headshot or even a social networking site, here are a few techniques to remove blemishes and smooth out the skin in portraits. I've got a photo here I've purchased from iStock Photo, and you can see the before and after the, the original, if I remove the transparency of all the top layers here, you can see just there's some blemishes up there. We can smooth out the skin, and I'll show you a couple different techniques. So we get the final result, which is a smoother skin look, but still have the detail in many other areas on the hair and on the face where there weren't many blemishes, but mainly we also remove those blemishes as well. Okay, first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up an image portrait where the individual might have some blemishes, and I like to work on a duplicated layer. In case we do some effects and they're too strong, we can always change the opacity of that layer uh, so it makes it more subtle. So go ahead and press Control J on the PC or Command J on the Mac. And on this top layer, there's two things that we'll be using, um, the patch tool and also the clone stamp tool. Sometimes the patch tool will grab pixels from areas outside the selection and, and it may not work as well, um, but it does work pretty well for these kind of applications. And in those instances where the patch tool might not work as well, we can use a clone stamp tool. So I'm going to just zoom in here and show you what I mean with the clone stamp. Uh, you want to hold down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, and you determine a source area for the pixels. So then just click. And then wherever you click next, it's going to take these pixels over here and bring them over here. All right. So I'm going to click and drag, and you can see the cross there over to the right. That's where it's pulling from. And then you see if I go too far, I pick up that blemish right there, and I just basically clone the blemish over there. So you don't want to do that. So what I found is sample often, and it looks more realistic anyway, so you don't have repeating patterns where they can tell it's photoshopped, right? So especially when you have wrinkles in the forehead, something like this, just slight. Uh, make sure those line up if you're covering something up like that. And um, you would just do that throughout. Uh, I would also suggest trying the patch tool. And what you do there is you click and drag around where we want to cover up, and then click and drag it over to an area to sample pixels from and you can see there that did a pretty nice job I would actually suggest using the patch tool more for this than the clone stamp tool it's just if the patch tool doesn't work as well go ahead and try the clone stamp tool so let's go through and do all those and I'll go ahead and um, I'll just do a couple more and then go to the next thing here. I'm actually just gonna grab all this here. Okay, I haven't removed them all, but you get the idea. On the other one, I did a bit more, but for the purpose of the tutorial, you'll just repeat that throughout the entire area. All right. Then, the next thing you want to do is actually press Control J or Command J on the Mac, duplicate that again, so work on the top layer. And go ahead and we just want to smooth out some of those areas. So if you go to filter, blur, surface blur, and it will preview it over here. And you just want to find the right balance with the threshold and the radius. Um, but basically you want it just to kind of blur out, but not too much. Just so you get a little bit smoother surface on the skin. All right. And don't worry about the eyes or the clothes or the lips. We're going to mask those out. So that kind of looks okay there. Just hit OK. Then we'll add a layer mask to this top layer. So go ahead and click Add Layer Mask. Choose a nice soft edge brush here. Black is the foreground color. Make sure the hardness is 0%. And we want to just mask out, basically erase, but if we, uh, I prefer masking because then if you mess up, you can always bring it back by painting in white. So make sure you're on the mask over here, and click and drag wherever you want uh, 
the nice detail to show through so eyebrows and the hair here and if you find it's a little bit strong still you can always adjust the opacity of that layer so obviously the clothes we want to be tack sharp there and even on the nose here I think we can bring some of that detail back in and the lips and we just want to mask out where the blemishes are because we really want to make sure those are uh, you know blurred out you can also another thing to try is if you go to the blur tool on the toolbar and you can also there just make sure you're on the actual pixels instead of the mask so we're on the layer there you can just click and drag and just further blur those one more step is to click create a new layer and sample some of the pixels here make sure you're back on this layer and you're going to sample the skin color here with the uh, eyedropper tool go back to this top layer nice soft edge brush we're going to kind of airbrush some effect in here so I'm actually going to click and drag up here and you know that kind of looks okay but it basically is just um, pixels here right but what we can do is actually change the blending mode to darker color and that does fine for certain areas um, you can actually press control J and duplicate that and set the next one to lighter color and that will take care of the other areas you could just uh, try that on a couple different areas but basically like right here for example um, that looked okay. I actually press the left bracket on the keyboard as you paint and that will uh, resize those images as well so that's kind of the final result uh, it took a little bit more time in the original just because I don't want the tutorial to be long-winded where I'm just selecting every single blemish so, but you get the idea the basic techniques here we're just using two different tools at first on a duplicated layer All right, we're using the patch tool and the clone stamp tool in certain areas and then I found that using the filter surface blur effect but then masking out so that certain areas really pop through and are attack sharp and then touching up with maybe some added layers with some uh, almost like airbrushing on top and experimenting with the layer blending modes alright so that's how you touch up a portrait remove some blemishes and airbrush so it looks a little bit better thanks